What is up guys, Polter here, finally bringing you another Fire Emblem Cypher unboxing. Probably the last one, as this is the final booster box that has been made. This is Series 22, The Hero's Pian. And as you can see from the front, it is comprised of pretty much every single game all in one. They went out with a pretty big bang, seemingly, with this one. Uh, hopefully, I can remember most of the cards we pull here. But, uh, as you can see, a bit of a closer look. Try to get the glare out of there at the art here. That will also be on all the packs. You can see every lord just about. There might be someone missing. I don't know. Also, Fire and Heroes stuff. Uh, on the front here, we got Sheeta, Azura, Edelgard, Lucina. And as per usual, the only other art will be on the inside. So, let's get this cracking and see what we got. All right. So, this set has 115 cards. Uh, and then, of course, like usual, 16 booster packs. This will get some sleeves, some promos. As we open things here, there's our sleeves. The, just the fire, essentially the fire emblem cipher card backing in gold. Very good. It looks kind of green on camera. Oh, there we go. It, if I get it in the light, gold foil does kind of come up green. Of course, the individual sale thing and our promo looks to be we got buy left. Uh, I'll open this to see what the other. There should be two promos in here. Um, but I, I figured this came out a while ago. I've been holding on to it for a bit. Uh, and with Fire Emblem Engage about to release i might as well kind of use this as like a as a capstone of all the fire emblems that have come so far as we move on into engage on the inside here we have uh, i like the just the the background it's very very classic fire emblem looking uh but we've got sea uh lelina is that oh i think that's veronica but fire emblem heroes bunny veronica and Ephraim. And then on this side, we've got Tiki, Ninian, Soren, and Celica. Very cool. Very cool. We'll get this all situated. I'll cut open all these packs to make things nice and easy for us. Uh, I like how, how it translates. All the people from the top of the box kind of splayed out more to the more uh, crowded but still nice pack art here. Okay, they're all cut open. So we'll take a closer look here at the promo. So we have female Byleth and the other is male Robin. The alternatives that you could get, none of these are hollow either, which is interesting. I think they're both reprints. Yeah, this is series 14, series 18 reprints as promos. Uh, I'll put the other two you could get on screen, but you it could be male Byleth or female Corin as the alternatives. But it's kind of sad opening this box as we crack on in because this is the last booster box. The cipher is discontinued. Um, so maybe that's part of subconsciously part of the reason I've also put it off because this kind of marks the end, unfortunately. Uh, but all 16 packs come with 10 cards and each card will have a set list in them. Um, some some sort of promo. Normally they promo the, the next set. There is no next set. Uh, some of these have like little characters on them, but they're just card uh, set lists. But we're starting off with, I think, Chris. Good start. Someone with a, now I think, instead of definitively, yes. Yeah. yeah, this is female Chris from New Mystery of the Emblem. We've got, oh, okay. Male Corrin with like a, a half and half Nor and... Oshido side. I like that. Uh, we've got oh, Sigurd. All right. Lalina. Very good. Very good. As usual, I don't play the Cypher. I know there's a lot of like ways to play it in English, fan translation stuff, um, online games, whatnot. I just love the art, and that's what all of these have been sharing the art journey. We've got Claude. That's a really interesting art style. I wonder who did that. Cause like distinct, it looks familiar, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, it actually looks like it connects cause the, the border 
on the top opens. Not sure. Uh, we got Reese, Rise, however you want to say it. Bow, the healer man from Fire Emblem 1 with a squirrel. Look at Disney princess. Look at him go. We've got Felix from Three Houses. He promoted with the shield, Dimitri in the background. Okay, shield of Fargus, what the hell is that? Oh, is this is this the Demon King from Sacred Stones? Yeah, Formotus, the Demon King. That's exactly, he got a card, look at him. Okay, you go Formotus. Uh, oh my God. I need, I if we don't get the cane one, I think I've gotten every non-hollow in every box we've opened. Is Saizo in this? But it's, it's the Christmas Cavaliers. Abel? And it's white, so it's like from Fire Emblem Heroes. I'm assuming the main one is Abel, because it's Kane and Abel, where the, the OGs. I don't see Saizo. So if you don't have a horse, I guess you're, you weren't invited. But wow. That is a good card. I'm putting that off to the side. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah, I wanna, I wanna make sure if we get, if and when we get the cane side, I wanna connect them. But we're starting off pack number one. It looks like an SR. You are unsure of the rarities. There's SR, R for super rare and rare, uh, HN and N for high normal, which is pretty much just uncommon and normal for common. Um, I don't remember the numbers. Like you, you pretty much get so many SRs per box and then you get like one SR plus or R plus per box. Typically it did change with some of the ladder boxes. So I'm not hundred percent, but this is a very nice Azura art. Very, very nice. I can't tell like what faction. Oh, it's both. It's both the Hoshido and Nor card. Another split. Yeah, you can see the rose and stuff. That's very pretty. The rainbow, very good art, solid opening to this box. We've got Micaiah, good old Mickey. All right. My God, things are getting a bit out of hand off to the side. There we go. We got Leo. Oh, this is a cute, this is a very cute Leo. Tea time with Leo and Corin. Okay. Summer Takumi. Fire Emblem Heroes specifically. I do like the denotion there with the colorless. Uh, we got Krom, of course. Ike. I feel like I've seen this Ike art. Is this a reprint? I don't know. I feel like I've seen this. But Ike, okay. Uh, oh, not it, Kaiza, right? Yeah, or Kiza. K-Y-Z-A. However you want to say that. All right. We've got, oh, this is one of the Cypher original characters. I don't remember her name. She's one of the newer ones. This is Niam, N-I-A-M-H. It could be pronounced something entirely differently depending on language of origin, but I'm going to say Niam. Okay. She's got a neat design, very edgy with the mask and stuff, but cool. It's very Altina-esque with whatever the sword thing's going on. Uh, we all oh, speak of Cypher original character. We got Yuzu. It's a Hoshido samurai, it looks like. Really enjoy Yuzu. She, one of the four that actually got put in a game as DLC, or DLC in Echoes. Uh, we've got Marianne, Dancer Marianne with Blood Gang. Blood Gang, however, whatever. There's a T, Blood Gang, you know. You know. Love Marianne. Man, all right. And our next rare, Dimitri. Just a regular rare. There we go, regular rare for Dimitri, but there we go. I was like, is he holding an ax? No, it's just the angle of his spear. Good old bread bar. But okay, time skip Dimitri. Very cool. Next up, we're leading with, oh, hey, here's a different one. You know, the character art normally, oh, this is completely different. Normally they have like some Cypher original characters on them. Are these like dating which sets came out? Cause I see well, these are so, oh, what the games came out, Elwood and Roy, and their title debuts. Oh, those are that's cute. Uh, but okay. I was like, I see those dates. Like those aren't. That's too old. There, Hinoka, very good Hinoka art. 
We got Alphonse from Heroes. We've got Mast. I don't know if they call this Marth or Lucina. I can check. They are straight up. I mean, it's not really a... Wasn't really a spoiler even when the game was new, right? But they are calling this Lucina, not Mast Marth. We've got Edelgard. I should have kept... This does look like it connects to Dimitri. Or, uh... Well, Dimitri on this side, there's some blue. But Claude on this side. Yep, you can see the... The red cape coming in on the side. I love the connection cards. They're, they're kind of cheesy, but like I, I always enjoy them. They're they're fun. Very fun. And we just need the third one, so I'll keep those over there as well. We've got Frederick with a, a rock. Okay. Uh <laughs> Frederick with the rock. Oh, we have Tokyo Mirage in here too. We got Mamori and Drog. They really, they really put a little bit of everything in this, didn't they? Man, look at that. Okay, we have, ooh, Claude, the Yggdraw Claude. I would not have guessed. Yggdraw has always been my weak point in terms of remembering people's names, and especially over time, it'll just get worse. But we have Claude, I believe the Ohm staff? No, Valkyrie staff? They're the same thing. But whichever <laughs> Yggdraw's version is, Ohm or Valkyrie. Uh, we've got Frederick again, a promoted version of him. Very cool. Here it goes, like things getting a little blurry. This is, that looks like a sweet spot. And, oh, not quite. We've got, is this Leaf? No, it's red. Oh, this is Tobin. This is, okay. This is a Gaiden or Shadows of Valencia. That's Tobin. Is this like one of the, the DLC classes? Like the bow. I was like, is this supposed to be a ballistician? Is it one of the ballistician boys from Marth? Nope. That's Tobin. Okay. And Hinoka. The good old uh, helicopter sister. Looks like she has a bolt lance too. I love the, the, the hollows never look as good on camera as they do in person just because of the nature of foils, I guess. But the, the pose and everything happening, very dynamic, very cool. That's really good art. Oh, next up, we've got ourselves Lelina, but specifically Fire Emblem Heroes Lelina. Why? What is, what is specific to this? What makes this Lelina special? Is this supposed to be like younger Lelina? I know they made like child Lelina, some child versions of characters. I don't know. I do not know. She's already, she's kind of a kid to begin with, but whatever. Uh, Ike, a dupe already. Uh, Marth, okay. This is very like shoujo, very, uh, I forget, boys. Otome, that's the word I was looking for. That's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of some like Otome game, Otome Marth. <laughs> uh, oh, I think you're like Mariblis or something. Yeah, I was actually pretty spot on. I don't know if I said it right, but yeah. Fire Emblem Heroes Fairy Girl. Uh, another Frederick, another Mamori. Saizo. Okay, Fire Ninja friend, I love that. Really like Saizo. Very good unit, too. We've got Soft So. The bouncing back and forth between saying both ways. And it looks like Radiant Dawn version. He's got the midriff. He doesn't look five years old. Uh, we've got Celica. I think this was a Celica that was inside the box. We've seen a preview of this art before. And this looks like, yeah, I think for Gaiden, they might have done the the DLC classes. I forget what they call them. They're all like very unique names, but I think this is third class Celica. And ooh, is, the, oh, this is the shadow dragon. I was like, I see, is it a combo card for all? It's for all the types of dragons. You see magic, ice, earth, fire. That is sick. Can I get like a better, like what if I, No, it won't, it won't focus in super close. Man, 
That is so, so cool looking. I love that. Good villain cards. Let's go. Love to see the antagonist getting getting some love. Uh, okay, it looks like there's there's maybe one for every Fire Emblem game release. Because there's three houses and it's release date. 2019, man. We got female Robin. We've got Leaf. There we go. Leaf and his advisors. And Finn, honorary dad. Uh, we've got Erica. Oh, and Ephraim's in the background. Kind of as a ghost. <laughs> but he's in the background. Okay. We've got Soren. Have we seen this? Maybe. No, we, we saw Soren in the box. I think that's what I'm remembering. Because I remember saying Soren. Very nice. We've got this Lil uh, Lilina again. So oh, I was like, speak of Soren, that's not Soren. That oh, this is Laron. Yeah, I'm not. They even get Laron. I'm not familiar enough with him, like visually. He's in such a small part of the game. But okay, love that he got on. I get. I guess yeah, the medallion there is the giveaway. But very cool. Love that he got some art at the very end here. We got Sealith. All right, all right. Uh, oh, this is another Cypher OC. Val Jean. He's one of the ones I like more so. But yeah, Val Jean. That's his name. Or Val Jean. One of the two. We've got A, the other. Oh, that looks like it connects. How many connection cards do we have? I gotta go find Saizo. There we go. Kaze and Saizo. Another connecting card duo. You'll love to see it. Good shit. And we've got the bunny Veronica that we saw inside the box as well as a regular old rare. Fire Emblem Heroes stuff. Easter units with the bunny tome thing. Carrots. Okay. Next up, we've starting with a dupe. We've got Robin, Erica, Takumi, Soren, Dupe City over here, Chris. Frederick, there we go. Uh, oh, Bridget? Yes, Bridget, okay. I was like, I was pretty sure. Did I get one right? I got one right, let's go. Bridget with the u one of my favorites. We've got Bernadetta. Times get Bernadetta. Uh, Frederick again, and Edelgard, a regular rare free, I guess, I think this is the third set, especially a recent set with the three houses people in it. Um, they had their, their SRs, their fancy cards, just regular rares. That's good art though. I like the posing and everything for that. Does this connect? Hold on. Over here, does this connect to Dimitri? Oh my god, it does. We've got even more card connectings now in the rares. There we go. So there's a rare Claude that goes right here too. More things to set aside in case we get the connections but that one's a rare one so that one is far less guaranteed moving on god there's this stack is growing hold on okay we've got roy the boy that's really good art for him i like that uh corin we've seen this one. did we see male corin or was it female i think it was male corin i think we saw this exact card we've got ah uh, i think this was a promo i feel like i've seen this card before but we've got bath time. Actually, wait, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm confusing it with another Camilla card. Camilla's definitely had fan service cards in the past. Uh, I think this is a bath time Fire Emblem Heroes event thing that they did. The bath time Camilla, because you know, sometimes you need to print money. Um, <laughs> we've got Sigurd again. Ninian with Nils in the background. Oh, that's really good art. Again, I'm pretty sure this is the Ninian we saw on the box art too. Very good. We've got Gilbert or Gustav. Both are the same. Okay. We've got, oh, all right. I'm gonna make sure my 50-50 guess, Danved. It is Danved, let's go. That ain't no Dev Dan. That is Danved with Oliver in the background. Just peeking, I love that. Good shit. All right, we've got Marianne again. 
Uh, ooh, I was gonna call you Minerva, the no cherche with Batman, your son, who's Jerome, I think, in the background. Minerva's your dragon. Very good art. So much, I mean, I could just say it every time. Oh, okay. Anime hair. Let's go. This is very like, like is 90s. I was like cowboy bebop hair or something. Leaf, especially with the face. SR Leaf, the boy getting love. The texture is kind of messing with the camera. Can't really see the sword all too well, but very good, very cool. I love that. Is this the last pack? Okay. Last pack from this side. The halfway point ends here. I got, uh, I think, the, is this a different Mickey? Maybe not. Maybe this is the only Mickey we've seen. I feel like I remember seeing that guy's face specifically. Uh, hey, we've seen that leaf, but leaf again. Pea time, Chrome, Cherche. Oh, you are a Thracia character. Miranda, that's right, that's right. Oh, I forgot to, oh, hey, the Awakening one. There we go, 2012, man. Miranda. Uh, and Miranda again, but promoted this time. Look at you. The glow ups back to back. We've got, I believe her name is Poe. This is another Cypher original character. One of the recent, more recent ones. Yeah, P-O-E, Poe. And we've got Alice. This is another Cypher original character. They go hand in hand with Valjean. Valjean. It's like a knight and princess thing going on. But there's her. And. I can't tell. Uh, oh, this is supposed to be Noel from Sacred Stones. The hat and stuff. I guess because he's, he's a summoner. I don't know the summoner. I haven't used the summoner all too much. So like I'm extra unfamiliar with the sprite, but that is Noel as a summoner rare. Okay. Cool. I was wondering if it was lion. I was like, this hat is, the hat's really throwing me off regardless of who it was. Uh, we've got, speaking of like super anime looking like the Marth card, we've got Alm with a Celica. Not my favorite card art is very unique. I'll say that much. Not my favorite. Uh, Hinoka. Okay. Oh, wait, is that Deirdre? That is supposed to be Deirdre. Okay. I was like, oh God, I see the staff. So it's someone, someone important. The Deirdre. Okay. She's not in a forest. Oh, there's some flowers. There's water. It looks like she's not in greenery. You know, can't recognize her when she's not in the forest. Uh, <laughs> Alyssa, Kaiza, Laron, Flora. Or wait, yeah, Flora. I was just making sure. Yeah, Felicia is the other one. <laughs> I was making sure I didn't have the names mixed around. Good old Flora card. The Ice Maid. Cool. We've got, ah, oh, you shitter. Good old Randall. I love Randall. Another of the Cypher original characters. One of the original four. There were two and then there were four and then all the others were added. But Randall. Love that guy. Ooh, we got Zelgius. A little bit of plot spoilers on this one. <laughs> this looks like in the tower. There's definitely Radiant Dawn because he's got all this, uh, the scrapes and armor damage. Black Knight Zelgius. Okay. And a rare is. Oh my. Okay. Hold on. There's a lot to pick apart or a lot to take in. Narcian. With his other general. Like this. This face. Holy shit. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Brunia, I believe, is the girl on the left. I don't remember. Purple armor face, man in the back, but my God, 
Hey, all right, next pack, we're starting with Dimitri. So that means there's a dupe immediately after. That means we can grab over here, try to line up all three. There we go. I was like, let me, let me try to finagle this. There's all three put together. Very cool. All right. And Takumi, Leaf, Crumb. Oh, Flower Bandits. Oh, what is your name? Pan. This is King Sword guy, right? And then his uh, his one bodyguard with the horrible hair and younger. I don't think sister by blood, but you know, kind of younger sister relationship there. Tina, I want to say. But there we go. Thracia characters. Tiki. Oh. I love that this is combo awakening and uh, Fire Emblem one. And then there's, there's a, oh, it's everything. There's a little lime green quote in the middle, which is usually only given to the Tokyo Mirage cards. Oh, that's so cute. A little bit of everything for Tiki. That's great. Danved. Bernadetta. Oh my god. Who the hell is this? Oh my god, is this Valbar, but in like a crazy DLC class? It is. This is Valbar. Okay. Good lord. Never would have recognized you. Like standalone? Uh uh. And our. Ra oh! This is our plus card. Our SR plus is. Martha and Sheeta. Oh, that being the the plus card we get, I'm really happy with that. Ending it with the OGs. Look at the fancy cape. Them, absolutely them. Bless. That's good shit. That is good shit right there. All right, so our plus card is off the table. That's the one we got for this box. Very happy there. I think it said there's eight. Yeah, there's eight possible pluses, and that's one we got. So we've got male Byleth. Have we seen regular Byleth? Like we had the promo Byleth. I don't know if we've seen this. Uh, Hinoka, Camilla, Deirdre. Uh, is this like a regular Knoll? Probably. Yeah, this is just the common version of Gnome, not the the rare hollow. Very cool art. Okay. We've got Ephraim. Fire Emblem Heroes Ephraim specifically. Interesting. Uh, we've got Fire Emblem Heroes Tiki specifically. We've got... Oh, oh wait, does this... We've got another combo card. I gotta find... I gotta find Flora. It looks like Felicia combos. And there's another one. I think Jacob might be the the maid butler trio. Because it's open on both sides. Yup. There we go. And there's one more. So something else to put to the side as we wait for the connection. Uh, we've got... J Is this Lawrence? Is this Drog? It's a Tokyo Mirage card. Yeah, it is Drog in one of his promoted versions. Okay, I didn't, I wasn't 100%. Okay. Good old Drog. Is, is that zero? I think this, is this attack? Is zero and 20? He's got to be some sort of niche utility card, huh? <laughs> All right, and our rare is, oh, this guy, Sias, that's your name. I couldn't remember. I just know you were like, the map for you on Thracia is, oh man, Authority Star City. The suffering is real when Sias takes the field as an enemy. Man, all right. I was like, it's looking at you, all I all I know is pain. We've got Mia. Here's some new new faces still. Uh, a different Bridget. Okay, we've seen the promoted version of Bridget. Here's an unpromoted. We've got Ella Wood. All right. Uh, Silk. That's very cute Silk art 
from Shadows of Valencia slash Gaiden. We've got Alm and Celica again. No. Randall. Hey, there it is. I was waiting for this one. Uh, ooh, look at you. A little preview there, but more importantly, sorry, Itsuki. Oh, they don't actually connect. I'm trying, I was tr like trying to line up the middles. They don't actually connect. They're just all the canes and all the ables together. No connection, but man, I love that so much. All the horseback cane enables. Saizo and Kaze got their own combo card. They weren't included, but they're still in the set. Hell yeah. Uh, Itsuki with all the others in the background. Ellie, Toma. I think Toma. Kiria, Subasa, Mamori, and the Navar guy whose name I can't remember in the way, way back there. Very cool. And, oh, okay. We've got Chris. I'm just not too wild about Chris. So this does look like it was drawn by the, like the, the artist that did like the cover art and stuff for New Mystery. It's in, if not, they mock the style really well. It looks, it looks like that exact stuff. But Chris and Marth from New Mystery. All right, Bridget, Edelgard, Ellawood, Marabolus, Ephraim, Noel, I forget, Claude, <laughs> Itsuki again. Okay, every card in this was a dupe. Uh, oh, hey, this is, an one. this is a new one. Guidance release date, Omen Celica, very cute. Uh, but our rare, looks like an SR is, Female Corrin. Robin. <laughs> wrong one. Robin. I knew what I meant, but I said the wrong thing. With Grima in the background hiding there. Lurking. It's another one that's hard to harder to see on camera because of all the foil, but so much lightning effect going on. Very cool. A solid SR, honestly. We're down the final three. All righty then. Start with Silk, Dimitri, Edelgard, Alphonse, Bridget, Han, Shade. Okay, one of the Cypher OGs. Actually, if you look at the, the set list, this is Emma and Shade, the two OG Cypher original characters. We've yet to see Emma, but there's Shade. Very cool. Uh, oh, do you connect? Actually, oh, it might be a ninja trio. Hey, there's fire. Hold on. There we go. I guess that's also why they didn't add Kaze and Saizo to the cannon able cards. So they didn't leave out Kagero. She's kind of forgettable as far as like, I mean, not as a character, but uh, as far as like being part of the trio, I feel anyway. But there's also the like Mario, Luigi and Princess Peach memes because you have to go rescue her and she's pink. <laughs> but there we go. Another trio card. Very cool. And we've got that super intense Valbar and the rare for that is Claude. Oh, hey, there's another trio for me to try to awkwardly piece together. There's the Claude card himself. And then and then there we go. There's the the full three piece. The hollow combo. Very cool. Okay, two to go. We've got Roy, Marth, Byleth, Marabolus, Azura. I don't know if we've seen this Azura. I don't, we saw, a, I think, a Corrin that was double color. I don't think we've seen this Azura. Interesting art style. Okay. We've got Ninian and Nils, Zelgius, Flora, Brigid, and Sorin. There we go. Nice Sorin art. Very much enjoy that. Love Sorin in general. The final pack. So we're missing a Jacob, seemingly. We gotta we gotta get all the missing parts right here, which usually does happen. But 
This could be one of the rare times where we don't actually get all the commons and uncommons. So, we've got Massmar Lucina. We've got Mia. Ellawood. Alm and Celica. Azura. The Combo Tiki. There, yup, there he is. Okay, that might be the only thing we were missing. There we go. The Fates Made Ninja Butler Trio. Very cool. So many combos in this set. Man. Uh, act, and looking at the pack, doesn't... Looks like there's one more. This is the, the original Fire Emblem Warriors. The, the P-Twins. Since they're so aggressively yellow. I don't recall their names. Uh, Rowan is this guy's name. Maybe the girl got a card in another set. It doesn't look like she has one in this one. But she's in the background. And we've got Emma. Yes, we got her. At last. One of my favorite. Her and Randall are my two favorite Cypher OCs. The, the giant bow is so good. Well, there we go. And our we're ending the, the pack, the box, all of Cypher on this super rare. It is... I don't know. Oh, Guinevere. <laughs> what, a, what a climactic, what a climactic reveal. Someone I don't recognize right away. Even still, it's like, that's Guinevere? I mean, I guess. Sure. Very stylish. She looks significantly older than any of her game uh, appearances. But there we go. A quick recap on all the hollows as we wrap things up here. Of course, the Guinevere. We got Soren. We got the Three Houses trio. A super rare Robin. We've got Chris and Marth there. We've got Sias. Our SR Plus being Marth and Sheeta. Love that. We've got Narcian and the Wyvern Generals. We've got uh, Noel. I almost forgot again who that was. Leaf. SR Plus Leaf, my boy. We've got the Fire Emblem Heroes Easter Bunny. Veronica. We got the Shadow Dragon and all the other dragon types around him. We've got Hanoka and starting it all on that SR Azura. <sighs> that is going to do it. A another cipher complete. We've done every booster box, every starter deck. And uh, I think there was one or two maybe extra videos thrown in there we've been a hell of a journey it's not an unboxing channel i feel like every location or every video was different because again i'm not an unboxing channel i don't really have a designated spot that makes it easy to do all this but it was fun to do throughout the years little by little <sighs> and that's gonna be it thank you all for watching hopefully you enjoyed hopefully if you've been Watching the ciphers as I've been putting them out every so often, year after year. I appreciate it and your support on the channel. Like I said, it's a turning point in Fire Emblem. Engage is just about to be here. Cypher has ended. And with it turning the page from, what is it, Fire Emblem 15 to 16? I think is what we're up to now. So many games. Goddamn. But yeah. Have a good one. Appreciate you. I'll see you in whatever comes next. <laughs>